North Korean nuclear attack would end Kim's regime, U.S. warns. Here's a summary of the article. Breaking news. The United States has warned North Korea that any nuclear attack against the nation or its allies is unacceptable and will result in the end of the Kim regime, a joint U.S.-South Korean statement said on Saturday. The U.S. side reiterated that any nuclear attack by the DPRK against the ROC will be met with a swift, overwhelming, and decisive response, the statement said. This post received a score of 4400, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. A NK nuclear attack would end NK. They also do not need nukes to level Seoul. It's not a simple W for the West if they launch anything. Like all dictators, nukes is a nice security to prevent being removed. That's not the point. If NK actually tried to nuke someone offensively China would likely have to step in immediately and annex them, depose Kim. Can't have rogue nuclear nations on your doorstep. China will annex part of North Korea as a buffer in any case if it looks like the knocks are on the ropes. I'd imagine they like to keep as much of North Korea's nuclear program and weapons out of South Korean hands as possible. The Chinese province bordering North Korea is ethnically Korean anyway, so they could easily absorb more of them if they had to. I feel like all the threats NK makes are done because it makes them a lot of money. Who knows how many billions in cash he's been given to shut him up, but it's like feeding a stray animal. They'll keep coming back for more. I'd say this is an accurate assessment. I doubt there is a single war game that has NK beating SK. If it were to actually play out, NK would nuke a few major SK cities in coordination with a surprise attack from pre-existing tunnels under the DMZ. After that, SK comes back swinging a metal folding chair to the face. I'm sure NK military leaders know this. The Greater Seoul metropolitan area is all within conventional artillery range from North Korea. The very beginning of a renewed Korean war would start with a massive loss of civilian life, even without any nuclear weapons add that loss of life to probably the largest humanitarian crisis the world has ever seen after the NK regime is toppled. It would take decades to fix the Korean peninsula, and astronomical amounts of money. I don't understand why SK didn't move their capital when they signed the armistice. It was in ruins and had to be rebuilt anyways, why rebuild it within range of all that artillery? Sign of defiance I guess? Like the, why should I move, change, he's the asshole, mentality would probably be giving up a lot of cultural stuff. There was nothing wrong with it, until that no talent ass clown started winning Grammys. Random office space reference. Taken up dude. I'm pretty sure Kim already knows this. So the secret to not getting overthrown is nukes? Yes, it's always been. No one is going to touch you if you have nukes. The chances of you setting them off and killing a shit ton of people make it not worth it. Why do you think NATO hasn't stepped in Ukraine and then marched to Moscow? Because nukes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.